Hello friends, in this video we will be covering uh, H.C. Verma's objective 1 for magnet effect of current. So, the first question is, there is a vertical wire in which current is flowing in upward direction and an electron beam is sent horizontally towards the wire. In what manner it will be deflected? So, let's take a look. Let's say this is the current which is outward and it is coming out of the plane and there is an electron which is moving towards the wire horizontally. So, V cross V. If we take the with the help of right hand rule, we can find the magnetic field due to this wire is this and V cross B is into the plane. But as the charge is negative, the force will be opposite to that. So, force will be out of the plane. So, the charges will move out of the plane or we can say charges will come up in upward direction and the second question is a current carrying straight wire is kept along the axis of a circular loop you have to find that uh, what kind of force the straight wire will exert on the loop so let's see this is a uh, straight wire and this is the circular loop the magnetic field due to straight wire is this as they are parallel or anti parallel to the current, so the force of interaction will be zero. As field and current are parallel or anti parallel, so the angle between them will be either zero or 180 degrees, so their cross product will be zero, hence the force will be zero. In the next question, uh, there is a proton beam uh, which is moving from north to south, and there is an electron beam which is going from south to north. So we have to find that how electron beam will be deflected it will be either towards the proton beam away upward or downward so remember this is not just current these are proton beam current is electrically neutral so this is a proton beam so let's say electron beam is moving in this direction these are the number of electrons and a large number of protons are moving from north to south so uh, they can be treated as current also the current is in upward direction and also in this direction current is in upward direction so because of same direction of current produced by them they should attract each other but as they are not electrically neutral there will be electrostatic forces and in these type of cases electrostatic forces will dominate hence they will get attracted so <clears throat> we can say they will get attracted mainly because of the electrostatic forces always whenever you have to compare between magnetic and electrostatic forces take the uh, overall effect due to the electrostatic forces in the next question there is a circular loop which is in a vertical plane contains north and south direction uh, it carries a current towards the north at the topmost point and let there is some point A which is on the axis of the circle on the east side of it and point B which is on the west side of it you have to find the magnetic field at these points due to the loop so let's take I have made two diagrams uh, this at topmost point the current is towards north this is north and this is south so at bottommost point this is this A point is in the plane of paper or we can say at the back of this paper and point B is in front of this paper so using right hand rule you can say at point B the field will be uh, out of the plane and at point A the field will be into the plane or we can say in other diagram so this is north and north is inward in this so the current is moving inward and at bottommost point the current is moving outward and point B is towards the west and A is towards the east so we can say the field at A is towards left direction and also at B is towards left direction so magnetic field is towards west on both the points so from this diagram I hope it is quite clear in the next question uh, there is a straight wire and a loop in which current is flowing and we have to find that uh, how the loop will behave under the magnetic force due to wire so as we can say 
the magnetic force between this wire and the infinite wire will be attractive and this wire and infinite wire will be repulsive but as these wires are closer the magnetic attractive forces will dominate over uh, repulsive forces so it must get attracted towards the wire and there will no will not be any torque because the magnetic field and the uh, magnetic moment vector which is again perpendicular to the plane of sheet so both vectors are either parallel or anti parallel so we can say it will be simply attracted will not be rotated in any manner the sixth question is quite easy if a charged particle is moved along a magnetic field line then it will not experience any magnetic force because the velocity will be either parallel or anti parallel to magnetic field so v cross b will be zero and uh, we can say force magnetic force will also be zero and question number seven there's a moving charge and we can say a moving charge produces both electric field as well as magnetic field in the next question there's a particle which is projected uh, in a plane perpendicular to uniform magnetic field we have to find the area bounded by the uh, the, path, the path of the particle and we have to guess whether it's proportional to velocity kinetic energy or momentum out of what these parameters so we can say r is given by simply mv by qb and the area of that circle which it will form it pi r square so again r is proportional to v so r square will be proportional to v square so we can say area is simply proportional to kinetic energy in the next question there are two particles x and y which are having equal charges after being accelerated through the same potential difference they enter in a, a magnetic field region and describe circle of radius r1 and r2 we have to find uh, the ratio of x uh, the ratio of masses so we can say radius is given by mv by qv this is nothing but mv two times mass of ke uh, mass into ke root of that so if we take the ratio what things will cancel we can say they have same accelerating voltage they have same charge so and they have say they are thrown in the same magnetic field so we can say r is simply proportional to m so uh, if we have to find the ratio of their masses square that will give r1 by r2 square is nothing but m1 by m2 and the next question there are two parallel wires which carries a current of 20 and 40 ampere which are in opposite direction and we have placed another uh, wire which is carrying 20 ampere current and which is uh, uh, having anti parallel direction to the other 20 ampere so we have to find uh, magnetic force on the wire which is placed in between the wires so let's look at uh, take a look at the diagram this is wire 1 and this is wire 2 or wire 3 which is having 20 and 40 and another wire is placed which is having anti parallel current to the previous 20 ampere wire so these currents are already opposite so these will be in same direction so the force magnetic force between wire 2 and 3 will be attractive in nature and wire 1 and 2 will repel each other so we can say on wire 2 both the forces attraction from 3 and repulsion from 1 are in same direction so we can say the net force on wire 2 will be towards the 40 ampere only in the next question there are two parallel wires which are carrying current i1 and i2 and it is given that i1 is greater than i2 so uh, when the currents are in same direction uh, magnetic field at a point which is midway between the wires is 10 micro tesla and if the i2 is reverse the field become 30 micro tesla so we can say when the currents are in same direction uh, the net field is magnetic field due to 1 minus magnetic field due to 2 the current are in same direction and they will try to cancel each other field at this point so the net field will be b1 minus b2 as wire 1 is having more current so it field will win 
so b1 minus b2 is 10 micro tesla but when the current in wire 2 is reversed both the field will add to give you 30 micro tesla so we can say the ratio of magnetic field is nothing but the ratio of their current because the point is equidistant from both the wires we can say it will be 2 is to 1 you can find that b1 is nothing but 20 and b2 is nothing but 10 so the ratio is 20 is to 10 which is 2 is to 1 so in the next question there is a long straight wire of cross sectional area a which is carrying a current i and there are n number of free electrons per unit volume there is an observer which places himself on a trolley which moves parallel to the direction of current with this much speed and uh, they are separated by a distance r we have to find magnetic field seen by the observer is what value so let's look at the diagram i will look at the diagram so we can say let's in reality the electrons are moving and these atoms or protons are at fixed location so we can say the current is in this direction and electrons are moving with the speed nea vd as the observer which is also moving in the direction of motion of electrons or we can say opposite to the direction of current it will observe the electrons to be at rest but at the same time he will observe that the protons are moving with the same velocity nea vd so again he will observe a current in this direction and the observer will see the field due to the motion of protons with respect to him which is mu naught i by 2 pi r he will observe the same current and same field even if he is moving with certain velocity okay thank you